Okay, very easy number nine. Let's check it out. This column is blocked, so there's a nine. This column is blocked, this row is blocked, but I don't know which one of those two it's gonna fall in. I do know it's gonna fall into one of those though. These two rows are blocked, so I do know this has to be there, which then blocks this one. This one is blocked here, so this has to be here, and now I know where that nine goes. The eight. I don't have a lot of information here. Only one eight on the whole puzzle. So I know I'm gonna have to come back for more information. But I do know that this eight has to be somewhere there because those are the only two options left. And that might help me figure out some other stuff. I'm gonna move on to the sevens for now. Much more information on sevens. So this one covers those two. This one covers that. So there's where that seven goes. These two rows are covered. That column is covered, so that's our seven. This column is covered. This row is covered. There's our seven. This row is covered, but it could be in either one of those. So I'm gonna put that six there. Now we're gonna find out about that eight because the six here is blocked, so this one has to be a six leaving only that one spot for the eight. These two sixes cover those two columns, so here's the six on that. These cover those columns, so this six has to be in one of those. Now, this six covers that row, meaning this six has to be in this top row. Because it has to be in the top row, that means that can't happen, which means that is our six right there. Then this covers that row, this covers that row, and so that's what's available. Now, I said that you often have matching sets. This may not look like a matching set to your eyes yet. You'll get used to this matching set too. What you have is three columns, one, two, three, and three rows, one, two, three. So this is a set of three where one is not telling what the other is. Once we know where to place one of those sixes, we'll know where to place all of those sixes but we'll have to get there by eliminating one of those six possibilities by placing another number. Let's go on to our fives. So these two columns are taken up. This one's, uh, this row is taken, so there's the five there. This column is here. This row, this row, so there's our five. This column is done, this row is done, so there's our five on that one. And the fours. Both of those columns are wiped out. There's our four. This one eliminates that, meaning it has to be there. This one eliminates that, so this one has to be there. These two eliminate both of those columns. This one eliminates that row, so there's the four there. On to the threes. These two columns are eliminated, so our three is there. These two columns are eliminated, so our three is there twos. Um, let's see, this column is eliminated, so there's a two. This row is eliminated, so there's our two. Here's our two, because it's the only one. This and this are eliminated, so there's our two. And this eliminates that one, so there's that one. This now eliminates that one, there's that one. This is eliminated here, this one's eliminated here, so there's that. This one's here, this one's here, so there's that one. Now our sixes have cleared up. That has to be that six, that has to be that six, that has to be that six, and our eights fill in the remaining openings.